All right, guys, let's try this again. So I tried filming yesterday. Let me make sure the lighting's right real quick. Looks good. Okay, so, um, uh -huh, I uh, let me take out my grill. I don't want to flex on you guys too hard with the acrylic game, you feel me? Anyways, it was so freaking hot in my apartment yesterday that honestly, I just gave up. I was like, there's no way I'm filming this video. It was literally hotter than a devil's dick. And that's really freaking hot because if you think about it, he lives in an eternal pit of fire. Why is someone texting me right now? You are smoked. So just imagine the accumulation of ball sweat that my man has to deal with on a regular basis. Honestly, after running a mile, I can't even imagine living in my own what? It gets so hot down there that I couldn't even fathom how hot it is with the devil's, uh, you know, sausage. I don't know, man. It's probably hot as balls, but that's how hot it felt in my apartment yesterday. So I just was like, no, dude, I'm not filming this. I'm literally dripping sweat. I'm sweating bullets. Where does that phrase even come from? Anyways, today we are going to go over these sneakers right here. We have a plethora of sneakers. We have basically everything from like low-key shit to like utility sneakers to high fashion sneakers. Sne sneakers. It's hard for me to talk after I take my Invisalign out and with my Invisalign, I don't know. And we have a bunch of hype shit as well. So we have everything in between. I have no idea how much, or I should say what the value of all the sneakers I am unboxing today is. All I know is it's way too much. Also, I just got out the shower. Fuck my hair. Don't really care about fixing it. So, uh, uh, yeah, let's get to it. I don't really know what I should go over first. We'll go over some of the more hype sneakers first, okay? Now, I haven't done a sneaker unboxing on this channel for over one year. That's how long it's been. It's been quite some time, but I've been picking up a plethora of sneakers. That being said, I do normally wear them before showing them off on YouTube. Obviously, this channel is more focused around clothing. If you are interested in that, of course, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and most importantly, smash that like button down below. What I was gonna say was definitely follow me on Instagram because I do obviously take pictures wearing these sneakers normally. My Instagram is at the start of this, T-H-E-S-T-A-R-R-L-I-F-E. There'll be somewhere on the screen and in the description below. Sometimes when I say that and I say R-R, I feel like I'm barking or something like a dog, but anyway, Anyways, the first sneaker we want to look at is the Travis Scott ones. Now, I've never been the biggest fan of ones. I think ones are somewhat overhyped. I feel like I see so many people wear ones and consider ones as to be like the greatest shoe of all time. It especially irritates me when I see people say like, oh bro, you're a hype beast. You're wearing a box logo. But then I go to their Instagram and they're wearing Jordan ones. It's like, you're wearing the most hype sneaker in the world. You can't ever call someone a hype beast. That being said, I will say uh, this last year, Jordan ones have been coming out with some I don't know, they've been coming out with some cool Jordan 1. Like this, that I actually really appreciate. I love this mocha color. I think it photographs really well. Uh, I do like this sneaker. I like the backwards swoosh. I love the stash pocket. Like, to me, that is such a sick feature. Something that you normally see on, like, skate shoes and shit, where you'll see, like, little stash pockets. Really clean shoe. Obviously, you have the detailing right there. I believe it's on the inside. Yeah, on the inside, you have, like, the white-on-white -white cactus little uh, thingamajig. I did get this from StockX. There are several shoes throughout this unboxing that I will show off that I picked up from StockX. For those of you guys that do not know what StockX is, StockX is a great online platform where you can buy and sell brand new sneakers and Supreme. However, there's one thing that I wanted to touch on that I have not talked about in my videos, which is they added a below retail option. That basically gives people the opportunity to see what is selling below retail. And honestly, you can find some killer deals at the time. So I would recommend clicking that link down below, typing in whatever item you're looking for, whether it be Travis Scott Jordan 1s, the Supreme box logo, maybe a Supreme dildo, whatever you wanna find, using the below retail option to look at all the items that are listed below retail. I usually just type in the brand like Supreme or Nike SB or Nike or whatever and then hit below retail. I think it's super awesome that they added that and you see some really cool items sometimes going for below retail. Like for example, the Supreme bandana knit. Some of the items that I got from StockX, I was gifted. Some of them I purchased. I'll explain the, that in a moment. Moving on, we have these right here. Now, I never technically unboxed these. I did consider these my top five or in my top five sneaker of the year because I love Nike blazers or SB blazers, whichever. I like all blazers, but I usually prefer SB blazers. The off-white blazers are definitely nice, super clean. I love all the attention to detail. Usually the reason I like blazers is because they're such a simple shoe. This is uh, not quite as simple because you have the different textures, the different fabrics, you have different panels as opposed to the normal SB blazer, which is usually just all over suede and just cool colors. I love these sneakers, which is why I have every single one except for the Serena Williams. I do have the blacks. Obviously, these are released with the Hollows Eve colorway. They're super clean. I wear these probably the most out of all of them because I am a simple shoe kind of guy. Next up, we have 
the original pair, which is this super sick cream colorway. I think these look super clean beat. Yeah, obviously all the off-whites have this like industrial look, super, super clean shoe. And the blazer is by far my favorite off-white, which I think will probably be pretty blasphemous. Some people might be upset. Uh, ooh, I spoke a little too soon. This actually might be my favorite off-white. This I actually purchased from StockX. If you guys are not aware, every year StockX has this thing or this event called StockX Day. They fly out top sellers, people who sell on their platform, and they also fly out influencers and people that work for them and just, they fly out a plethora or a wide variety of individuals. So they let some of those individuals shop at like a secret StockX store. Basically, they had a bunch of items such as this, which obviously has yellowing, it has a damaged box, as you can see. And one of the features of StockX, or I should say one of their standards is that they never ship products like used or with damaged boxes. They just have a high standard and they want to make sure that the person receiving the item is receiving an authentic brand new good, which is kind of crazy because if you think about it, even stores have sold me shoes with damaged boxes before. I'm really glad I finally added this to my collection. I paid, I think, like $380, which is insane because those go for like 1500 bucks. Okay, so I think I have some other off-whites. I'm gonna wait to unbox those because honestly, I'm already tired of off-whites. Like I hear so much shit about them. Here. By the way, thus far, I have been adding the prices from StockX. If I cannot find the sneaker, I will try to find the price. Um, I think StockX will have most of these sneakers. I'm kind of curious to see some of these if they go below retail. But moving on, we have these right here. These are the Born and Raised Converse, and I love this sneaker. I think it's such a slept on shoe. Whenever I wear it, tons of people compliment it. You have on the turf embroidered on the tongue right there, Born and Raised on the back. You have this heel cap, this cool little toe cap, and then it's all like a pony hair upper. Super unique. It came in this color and a black color as well. Personally, I like this color just because it stands out a little bit more. I think the black is obviously more wearable, but overall, the shoe is sick, and I picked this up, I think, for like 35, 40 bucks. Anyways, moving on, we also have a pair of sneakers that I picked up on Bodega. Now, these are super Super sick. I just took a picture of these on my Instagram not too long ago. Well, I guess I have pictures of almost all these shoes, even the born and raised ones on my Instagram, but super sick. These are the neighborhood Doc Martens. As you can see, it says filth neighborhood Tokyo. This one says fury neighborhood Tokyo. It's in this oxblood colorway. Absolutely amazing. It's just a shoe that I can wear to, you know, dress up, get fancy for the ladies. Now this is a shoe Well, I... I'll wear this when I'm, I guess, dressing down. Um, I don't even think I've, have I worn these on? Yeah, I've worn these on one hike. And these are Danager hiking boots. How many sneaker unboxers are you gonna watch on YouTube that just randomly go from off-white to freaking Danager hiking boots? Don't play with me. Smash that freaking like button if you haven't already. I keep calling these Danager, not Danner, because I used to wear Danager boots, Danager boots, when I was in the military, when I was out in Afghanistan. But anyways, Danner boots, super good. I believe these are actually from the Northwest. But yeah, super good hiking shoe. Definitely, if you are into hiking, I would recommend picking up a pair. Not saying they're the best, uh, but they are really good quality. I think Adidas makes some really good hiking boots as well. I'm curious if StockX has those. Now, one pair I know StockX has are these bad boys. I've been wanting these for quite some time. If you guys know me, you guys know I love corduroy. Absolutely beautiful shoe. Sean Watherspoon absolutely killed it with this design. I'm sad he will not create any more masterpieces. I love the differences in color. I love the vintage vibes of the shoe. Obviously, it's a classic Air Max 97. The Air Max 97 and 98 are just classic shoes in general, so I'm really glad to see such a modern silhouette have this like vintage styling. You have this beautiful, almost like velvet lining, corduroy outer. Supposedly as you wear them, they will fray over time. And uh, yeah, I'm just really curious to see how these turn out. I picked these up for $450, which is a killer freaking deal. I think those are going for like 1500 right now. Next up we got, Speaking of Travis Scott, man, the man. He killed it with these. I think these are actually by far my favorite that he released. These are the Nike Air Forces, Travis Scott's. It's got this like all cream upper. You have this gum sole, it looks so clean. And once again, I love when you mix classic fabrics with modern styling. Like for example, this all canvas upper with the gum sole makes it look like this classic kind of like skater shoe almost, even though it's an Air Force, which is kind of weird. But then you have these chrome Nike swooshes, which kind of make it a little bit more modernized. You have like the little chrome hits. I think it's like a grill on the, uh, laces and then like obviously the cactus jack like a little lace patch i do not remember what i paid for these i think it was a right around like 300 maybe a little bit less getting that box in there was like freaking 
BBC porn. Like it just would not fit. But anyways, moving on, uh, we have a lovely, delicious package. This is one of the few items that I have not shown off on my Instagram. So like I said, I will take a picture of this soon. Make sure you go follow me because I'm telling you, these are absolutely delicious. I got these in a trade with my man, Masayuki. And uh, honestly, I got ripped off majorly, but he's like always supported me on Robotest and Poppy. He's always showed love. And on top of that, he sent me two teas that I really liked, the Supreme whatever tea, uh, which I took a picture in, and also a Stussy Mastermind tea that I was really glad to add to my collection. So I did not mind taking an L on this trade. I traded him a North Face Supreme Parka for these beautiful Golf Wang Vans Old Schools. These are absolutely delicious. As you can see, you have Golf Wang on the back. I love this collaboration. I would like to have the other colors. Uh, they're just really hard to find in my size and in decent condition for a reasonable price. Obviously, these were not necessarily like reasonable, but whatever. Also, these are Vans Syndicates, if you look right there. So these are not normal Vans. Syndicates are obviously limited releases. <sighs> now you guys might be thinking, oh, like another Travis Scott? Like, oh my God, why would you get two Travis Scott ones? I just put a different shoe in here. It's actually a shoe that I think is better than the Travis Scott ones, which I know people are probably already gonna be pissed about, but it is the faux leather, faux alligator leather, Travis Tyler, sorry, they both have T names, the creator, <laughs> one star, I'm so confused. These are the one stars, classic shoe. If you guys know, one stars are by far one of my favorite shoes of all time. Personally, no, I'm not reaching behind your ear to grab a quarter, but I like these better, actually. These are the neighborhood one stars, but I've always loved one stars. It's a classic shoe, and um, yeah, I love a lot of the collaborations they do. I believe, yeah, they made 333 pairs. This is number 134 so really quite limited they do have the little uh, gold lace tips nice like uh, almost like burlap sack laces the alligator or faux alligator leather upper looks super clean and definitely a shoe that i have gotten quite a lot of wear out of you can tell like i've already worn those shoes a lot and i've taken many many photos on my instagram now one of my favorite jordan ones which is crazy to say because it just came out are the unions i loved how they hybridized like two jordan ones together and then sewed them them into this beautiful masterpiece. I love that you have like this red, blue with the yellow laces that matches the stitching. Little details like the enlarged Jordan logo right here. All these little details for me, I just, I love it. I think this is a killer Jordan one. And uh, yeah, I'm just, <laughs> this thing is so freaking gorgeous. I've worn this quite a few times. I may eventually end up selling them just because honestly, I've gotten so many photos out of them. Uh, but I don't know, man. I just love this sneaker. And a lot of people like the bread toes more. But for me, I think the LA exclusives are a lot better. They just they just look way sicker to me. But I also like shoes that are a little bit louder, a little bit crazy. I just like weird shit. Like, for example, these Asics that a lot of people disagree with me about. Um, I post these on my story. And uh, I'm sorry, but these are so sick, bro. Like, look at these things. These are so fucking clean. You have the Asics logo right here. Then you have, like, this weird, like, stripe thing going down. Like... Oh my god, these are so fucking fire. Now, this sneaker is something I wanted to love. I did purchase this on StockX Day as well. Don C tried purchasing it, and I had to say, Shh, nope, they're mine. Mine. Yeah, I kind of wish I would have just let him take them, because honestly, they're just a little bit too big on me. There are, they, the, 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 they are size 10, but these are the Supreme World Famous Air Forces. As you can see, World Famous Straps 94, the year that Supreme was founded. And then of course you have the Supreme Box logo right there on the tongue and the Supreme Arc logo right there on the back. Super classic shoe, absolutely delicious looking. I wouldn't just sell them back on StockX because they're going for stupid amounts of money right now, but of course they are used like most of my products. Speaking of used goods, like I said, we do have some high fashion sneaker pickups as well, like these Balenciaga harness boots. These are like 12 $1,200. I do not think these are on StockX. These boots are so sick. Sanjeev actually put me on these. I love these even more than the Wyatts. You have the zipper so you can stick your uh, little foot in there. These are size 41. I probably should have got a size 42. But that being said, I love this boot. I think it's such a beautiful shoe. And like I said, Sanjeev ended up making me get this boot because I, like, I wore his and I was like, oh my God, these are so sick. They look so good. And then I just had to cop them on Grail. I think I paid like 700 for them. Maybe I even paid a little bit less. All I know is they did come with a box, so I was kind of upset about that. We're gonna put these right there. We're going to try to... Oh. Oh, are you guys enjoying watching me struggle? Like, look like an absolute moron. Anyways, um, we have a beautiful Nike right here. Once again, this is a shoe that does not fit me. 
I got this from the Plug Alex, mostly I needed it for photos. It's really, really tight. Shout out to the Plug Alex though, he hooked it up with the price. Definitely a killer freaking steal. I may end up selling these on Robitussin Poppy. They are used, but they're in pretty decent condition still. Such a beautiful shoe, they photograph so well. And like I said, my biggest issue is that they just fit a little bit small. I am a nine and a half in most sneakers. The only sneaker that I really wear a nine in are like Air Forces and um, Jordans. Obviously with Converse, I get an eight and a half. I don't know. Anyways, moving on. Even this, I'm actually a nine and a half and these fit perfectly. So maybe I'm actually a nine and a half in Air Forces. But we have this beautiful CDG Supreme Air Force One. Beautiful shoe. I love the cut in the uh, Nike swoosh. Obviously this is kind of a representative or similar to the box logo they did where it has like the offset Supreme logo. I'm so sad I sold my other CDG forces, the ones with the eyeballs on them. Those are going for dumb amounts of money now as well. But you know, you win some, you lose some. Moving on, this is a sneaker that I did actually unbox in the unboxing that I did quite, quite a while ago, one year ago exact. And that is the Air Max 97, yes. Um, sometimes I mix up 97, 98, but this is the undefeated Air Max 97. You guys may be wondering, why are you showing this shoe off again? Why are you re-unboxing it? Well, that's because I sold it and then I bought it back because it's absolutely fire and I was like, fuck it. I don't mind buying this shoe back. I love this shoe. Sticking with the modern shoes, we have the Air Max 98. Now this is a Supreme Air Max 98, one that is quite sought after. You have Supreme on the pool tab right there, Supreme on the toe box. You got the Nike bubble back there. It says famous and then on the other shoe in the same location it says world world famous being one of the classic supreme phrases this is in the red and gray colorway i believe i bought this from wang's closet in arizona um i don't remember what i paid but yeah either way super killer deal um i got both nike sakai's bam as you can see i got this colorway and i also got this colorway now i'm probably gonna sell one i do not know which one i'm going to keep i got them both for a pretty killer deal from the <laughs> from the plug alex once again like i said check him out on instagram he's a really dope dude super cool reseller and always hooks it up i kind of want to keep one because it is a unique shoe and it's definitely different than a lot of the shoes i have in my collection i just haven't decided on which color i'm going to keep all right so we got a couple more packages what are these i got another off-white shoe oh okay i remember what these are these are the off-white original 10 air forces once again this is a sneaker that was purchased from the stock x day store i think i paid like 280 dollars or 300 dollars for these super killer deal i do not know why oh, oh never mind the the box is terrible like legit the box the reason it's even in this box is because if you look it's like just shit um but the actual shoe itself is in pretty good condition i don't really see that much yellowing i just feel like this is definitely a shoe that will get dirty over time and probably not look as good dirty as shoes like the blazer all right so next up we got these right here now these i've never even opened myself so i'm really really curious oh man these are so beautiful dude oh these are so sick this was a kith mastermind vans collaboration oh these are so sick dude oh these are beautiful you have the zipper on the back obviously i love mastermind right here you have the mastermind logo you have like the three metal stamps you have right here too it's like billets or whatever they're called if you guys have been following me for quite some time you know this is totally my style you have mastermind stamped on both sides and then on the uh thing it says something about like peace on earth peace on earth that's what it says it says that on this little stripe right here and then it says world on fire world on fire those are kind of conflicting messages on the midsole super dope all black i believe this came in two colors as well oh man even the box with like the skull and like all the little details so fucking gorgeous now i do have some other sneakers as well that i do not feel like grabbing because they're dirty dirty thank you guys so much for the support i really do appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart i think this is getting close to 30 minutes of recording which means i have to cut it down to hopefully like 15 or 16 minutes but if you could please take a second to follow me on instagram my instagram at the star the stage e s d a r l i f e of course make sure you subscribe turn on notifications like this video comment down below and then of course support this video sponsor which is stock x some people will have their opinions some people will be like oh yeah you're just doing it because you're sponsored no anyways thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate it all your guys support i think i already said this but from the top and bottom of my heart and as always keep living the star life peace the fuck out Bang, bitch holla when you feel this fresh about the county tell them hoes to get up on me i was in that motherfucker with some killers